Uh, morning everybody and you join us for our little somber goodbye today because uh, as you can tell from the title we're off to Burton on Trent which means only one thing but unfortunately that name doesn't exist anymore see on the 3rd of August this year Midland Classic in name does not exist anymore unfortunately Midland Classic uh, was sold to Ratala this little company that started in 2006 with just two route masters just the two route masters all they used them for was charter hire and then they expanded into the uh, bus service market and in 2016 this little company Midland Classic took on the big conglomerate of Arriva and won they acquired all of Arriva's routes making them the sole operator well the sole major operator in Burton I will always have a favourite bus of mine. Let me just uh, double check. I'm sure it's quarter past six. Yeah, 6.16. They always have two of my favourite buses, Midland Classic, ever. They will have the one that I always call the one that got away, number 12. And then they will have number 41. No, not that 41. That's better, that 41. Yeah, not a, not a Versa fan. Not a, not a Versa fan. So yeah, they were sold to um, Ratala on the 3rd of uh, August. They'll be uh, known going forward as Diamond East Midlands. Uh, but until then, the Midland Classic name remains until all the buses get reskinned. So we're off to Burton. To go say our goodbye hello uh, and then uh, we're off for another vlog after that so uh, we'll just wait for the Corpat 6 to uh, Litchfield we'll see you then There goes my bus. Winner! Not so winner! Uh, come on then, give me number two. Because you always do. Oh look at that, you got the two diamonds next to each other. Holy fucking shit, it's a metro city first thing in the bloody morning. Today on things I did not expect to see. Uh, that? Oh, that's gonna sound mighty on the 38.
on the nine I'll take that so this right here this is for anyone that's been to Burton before you'll know this is the traditional spot here in Burton uh, up at the top of the new street with the uh, roundabout just here you get all the buses that are coming down that way uh, which will be the villagers uh, the V1 villager that is there's a Versa over there. In fact, if you look over there, you've actually got three Trent Bartons. All different uh, types over there. you got, uh, oh, let me stick fingers here. you got the Versa, you got the Urban, and the So Slow. All on different routes as well. That'd be a lovely photo for Trent Barton right there. If I could be bothered to get the photo. <laughs> which you know I will do. Um, you've also got the buses that come this way. Which is traditionally um, all the buses off your Toxeter. Then they go down uh, New Street as such. But yeah, here for about four hours. And then we're off to uh, our next destination. So we're just up here on uh, New Street. Let's do a few notables for you all. Look who's turned up first of all. He's on the 19 over to Marketplace Ashby Diller's house. And that is the X Demonstrator number 21. Scania Enviro 300 on a K230UB chassis. That is one of my personal favourites. And looking around the corner here, here comes a Metro City on the 10. Oh, it's number four. I had that this morning. Oh, yeah, there's an Enviro 400 here as well. Look at number 69. Nice, 69. <laughs> uh, 69 disappears around the corner. Here comes the X12 over to Litchie. Operated by uh, X Airport Scania Ariser I3 number 26. What's that in my pocket? It's my camera lens, that's what it is. That along the 38 is going to sound beastly. Another one of the Airport uh, Ariser I3s, this one working the 9 from uh, Queen's Hospital over to Ashby de la and that's number 27. Will I get one of them today? Who knows? Maybe, maybe not. Stay tuned for this and more. Coming up to work, the 12 to Litchfield. Difference between this and the X12, the 12 calls at all the villages. The 12 X12 is express along the uh, dual carriageway and that's Enviro 400 number 68. The Tupri Ginny's just gone uh, down, so they've swapped her over. Try and get that uh, later on. Anyway, coming down, oh, we've got a double here. Look at it. Oh, that would have been a nice shot. Well, that's uh, number 63 on the uh, Deuce to Edge Hill. The Edge Deuce. And I think, is there? Yes, there is. There's a Trent Barton Urban coming up. Uh, working the X38, this is going to be number 745. And then right behind him, one of the B7 TL Plaxton Presidents, number 103. And that's going to be working the 4 over to Swaddling Kurt. Oh, and then why not get the Metro City? Number five, working the eight over to Swaddy. Well, that's going a different way. That's not our Metro City, V180MC. Next up, working the V1 Villager for Trent Barton. Volvo Right Eclipse Urban, number 704. In the sun, that looks gorgeous, does it not? 
back panel's loose, it could uh, do with being tightening. You look at the little diddum. It's number three. He's a little diddum. And he's on the 18 to Stapen Hill. Whilst departed at the same time, Scania Solar number 78 is uh, off to go and do the 10. Uh, next to come up running the X12 over the Litchfield. It's not number two, but it is number one. But at least it's not number two. Next up on the 21 over the swaddling coat, it looks like uh, number 62, Scania on the city. On the uh, N230 UD chassis. And then right behind him, on the 9 over to East Midlands Airport, then East Midlands Gateway, uh, will be uh, 17 plate Ariser I3, number 14. I'm trying to figure out where these X Redding ones worked. Never figure it out. Next one up uh, with the X38 being a dual working. Trent Barton have two runs. Aretha have two runs. This is uh, one of the Aretha runs, uh, branded out in the F1 livery, 3745, and it's a uh, Pulsar 2 SB200 chassis. Great connect, oh the fast one, that's what it's called. I don't think that route exists anymore, if I'm being honest. Well, I've got a fantastic view, don't I? <laughs> uh, do what I might do. If I had time, I'd pop up there, have a look in, see how I get the last uh, few ones. Oh, are you going now, are you, uh, number 26? Oh, look, it's the Enviro 400. 69, nice. Going under the official title of, uh, hello, how do? That is the new Heritage livery. Now, you may remember it, it's gone on a Scania Omni Decker, number 55. Well, they since sold 55, uh, but they've brought the plate off 55 and now they put the plate on number 85 and 85 carries the Stevenson's Heritage livery. Now on that bus it looks better than on the Omni Decker if I'm being honest. I think it looks a lot better on that bus although some may like the Omni Decker I don't know. I think the Tutbury Ginny is going to park in right behind them if it does there's a shot on here that I don't think anyone's got yet. We'll see. I have to say, I completely forgot about the Evora. That's on the nine now. If the timings are right, we could be in for a treat for our next vlog. But the timings have got to be right. And I'm still waiting on number one. <laughs> uh, hello, number two. I'd like to officially say number two, I've not been wondering where you've been all day. Uh, I was quite liking the fact that uh, you were nowhere to be seen. And uh, all of a sudden you've uh, just decided to pop up out of the middle of nowhere. Is this the Tutbury Ginny coming down? Doesn't look like the Tutbury Ginny. No, that's number 78, number solar. Tell you what, it looks a good photo. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. There you go. This looks a good photo with these flowers in here, doesn't it? There we go. Let's do that again. There we go. Looks a great photo with those flowers in. <sighs> Top <Tuppery> Ginny's here. <sighs> Top Ginny's here. You are late. You are absolutely 100% positively late. Huh. 
There it is, look at that beauty. Okay, it's only a solar. But it does look good in that livery, doesn't it? Polished uh, dinghies and whatnot. <laughs> Right, down here, let's get a proper fucking photo of it. Uh, there we go. Just uh, relieved ourselves in uh, Cooper Square toilets. Two uh, shopping centres here at uh, 66. That's the first time I think I've seen 66 today, isn't it? That's an enviro up there. I'm pretty sure I've not seen 66 today. I'll double check it and get back to you. Well, I'll get back to you in a moment. No, I didn't get uh, 66. So uh, that was the first time I saw it today. But as I was saying, it's, uh, here comes one of the Pulsar Geminis. Who's this on the 17? Let's see who's this on the 17. It's either 46 or 47. Oh, there's a Versa coming. 47. That's Exareva London, that. Oh, here comes the Versa. But which Versa? It's 20. Exim Switch Bus, that. It's the first time I've seen that today as well. <sighs> well let's get this in before I get interrupted again. <sighs> So as I was saying, uh, two shopping centres here at uh, Burton. You've got um, Cooper Square, which is now behind me, and the one that I'm now in, which is the Octagon Centre. And at the end of the Octagon Centre, uh, Asda is on the other side. They're also doing some work here. Oh, the Entertainer is here. I like going in the Entertainer and Poundland. Let's pop into both of them, shall we? Has somebody made a Chewbacca out of Lego? That is freaking awesome! I hate to think how long that would have uh, taken to put that uh, on. I'm going to end the vlog with the Evora <laughs> right behind us. Well, this is Farewell and Midland Classic. It uh, has been a pleasure. I've certainly been enjoying uh, photoing you all as uh, as we've gone around the the uh, area. Let's not forget this company started off uh, little, and now it's uh, gone as it's gone. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already done so. Next vlog, we're off to East Midlands Airport. But we're going to pick it up sort of around here. Anyway, farewell Midland Classic, farewell.